Hey guys, what we have here for is a mustache. Just kidding. It's a one inch thick London broil. And we are gonna be cooking it on a grill, which is a cast iron. You can even do this on a cast iron pan. And the great thing about cast iron is it retains heat. It's a very key component to the cooking process. So what we're gonna do here is, I prepare my London broil, took it out two hours before cooking. It's gonna go up to two hours to room temperature. Seasoned, I just used a Montreal steak seasoning, but you could also use kosher salt pepper or a teriyaki glaze, whatever you wanna to do to marinate yours is absolutely fine. Also, I have my uh, grill prepared on medium-high heat. It's pretty good. You wanna make sure you apply this right onto a pretty hot skillet. And we're gonna go two to three minutes on each side and then we're gonna cover it with a cover. Turn the grill off, and also if you're doing it on the oven on a cast iron saute pan, remove it from the heat, covered, for about five to six more minutes in order to cook it thoroughly more. Now, one good thing to know is medium rare temps are about 145, and medium is about 160. Medium is kind of the way you want to go when it comes to a London broil because they can get tough. So let's move on to the cooking process, shall we? And also, I'm thinking about using just a little bit of olive oil that I'm just going to drizzle over it. And I already got some on the bottom, and I'm just going to place it right down so it doesn't stick. Okay, on we go to the heat. Mmm. That's instantly smelling good. We're going to do two minutes now on this side. I'm going to take a look and see if it's nicely browned on the other side. And it could be two to three. And then we're going to flip and we're going to do another two to three, and that is crucial. And then we're going to shut the heat down and cover it up. Just about ten seconds away from the two minutes. Five, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take a look at the bottom. Mmm, yes. I'm going to do another maybe, I'd say 45 more seconds, and I'm going to give it a flip. On the fifth flip side, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Smells unbelievable, guys. This is going to turn out good. So we're going to do another 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I think that'll be good. Check it at 2 minutes, though. 2 minutes and about 10 seconds. And the other side is already looking pretty awesome. I'm going to leave it on another 35 seconds. Then I'm going to kill the heat. I prepared a tin foil tent that's going to cover over this. Now if you're using a cast iron skillet on a burner, remove it from the heat and cover it up like a tent when, with a foil. I'm going to do the same thing on this grill and let it sit for about five to six minutes. And I did just give it one more flip just for the heck of it. Now I'm going to just put a little tent over this and this is really hot but I'm doing it anyway with my hand. And I'm going to let it sit for about five to six minutes and then I'm going to check the temp and we'll be cutting her up. Hey, we are at a nice medium temp here. I'm going to remove it, let it rest just for a little while, probably about maybe a minute, a minute and a half. And then I'm going to cut this juicy thing up and show you what it looks like on the inside. To see this in person, it's just perfect. It is just a little bit, you know, it's a little under medium. It's, it's just about medium, but just a little under. It's just exactly what you're supposed to have it at. Now, one key thing is when you slice it, you got to make sure it's sliced thin. It's a tough meat, and it will melt in your mouth, I'm telling you. I'm going to plate this up and show you how good this looks. There you have it, guys. The lighting is a little bit off, but it's absolutely delicious, juicy, melts in your mouth, very simple. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe for more content if you like it. Drop a like on the video, and uh, thank you again.